I was thinking so small because no one was there to stretch me, push me, hold me accountable or anything. Then I started the car business when I was 18, but I had to work a month of construction whenever I graduated so I could learn that I never wanted to do manual labor again for the rest of my life because they worked the crap out of me from 5 a.m. in the morning till midnight. And literally, I got a taste of what life would have been like if I would have done manual labor. So I go straight into the car business. And I'd like to tell you about my first car deal. This is where everything changed for me. And I will tell you this, all right? This was luck on my part. Okay. Now, I've, I've, I, now, my next deal didn't go this way, but my first deal, all I had to do was understand that selling cars was my way out. That's all I needed. I didn't know what I was going to do. Look, most of us didn't plan on getting into the car business. We really didn't. How we ended up here, I don't know, but we all have a story how we got here. But the best thing that ever happened to me and most of us is the car business. Okay. All that any man or woman could ever ask for is just an opportunity. And we've all been given the most incredible opportunity in the world with the car business. My first deal, I remember this old man pulls up, right? Older, a good One of my best friend's older brother is a manager at a store. He gives me a job. He, I didn't have a car. He says, hey, man, I'm going to pick you up in the morning. I didn't have any clothes either. They were three times too, too short on my legs. I was like high waters. And he was twice as small as me so that the clothes barely fit. But I didn't care. I had a job, right? And I remember I said, hey, dude, if you'll give me a ride to work, And you'll buy me lunch. I'll work from eight in the morning until midnight because I was doing that my last job. So I said, I'll I'll do that for you. And especially if I don't have to dig out sheetrock and, you know, I'm saying uh, fiberglass out of houses that were smashed by the tornado. I go in, he picks me up in the morning. I open the gates and guess what? I go into work. He says, Andy, I'm going to have a sales meeting. Here's what I need you to do. Go outside. If anybody pulls up, say hi to him. Tell him we're in a meeting. We'll be out in just a second. First of all, I've never had any customer service skills. I don't know how to talk to people. And I'm sitting out there and guess what? Old man pulls up. I walk out, say, hey, how are you doing? These guys are in a meeting. Don't know what I'm doing. Just want to say hi to you. I'm basically just going to get somebody to help you in a minute. Hey, I actually know what I want. I want one of these, you know, Nissans over here, right? Because I was selling Nissans. This is back in 1999. I go and I walk over to the Nissans with him. He points to the one he wants and says, hey, do you think you could get me some keys? I said, absolutely, man. So I go inside. I say to the manager, I say, hey, this guy wants to check out this car. He's still having the meeting. He says, here, there's the keys to it. We'll have someone out there in a minute just to help you. I go back out there, open the car for it. The guy just says, hey, jump in. He grabs the keys. We go down the road. I'm talking to the guy. We're laughing, having a good time. He reminds me of my grandpa. And I'm telling the guy, I'm like, oh my gosh, man, you remind me of my grandpa. You know what I'm saying? And we start kicking it, having a good time, building rapport. I don't even know I'm building rapport, <laughs> but I'm building rapport with the guy. And guess what? When we get back, the second we pull up, this other salesman comes out and he says, hey, sir, how you doing? Listen, he's brand new. He's only been here for about an hour. So I'm going to kind of take over at this point and help out. Andy, I appreciate it. And the guy goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm only here and I want to deal with him. If anybody else, you know, comes into the deal, I'm leaving. And I'm like, damn, I'm going to get fired the first day. And guess what happens? I said, okay. He guy goes, hey, listen, I bought a lot of cars in my life. He's like, you know what? It's your first day. 